Good morning! Good morning, my little explorers. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's science time and today we will talk about maps. So, what we will do first is to write the day and date. So everyone get ready, grab some papers and pencils and let's write the day and date. So everyone, grab some papers and pencils and let's write the day and date. So everyone, what's the day? Tuesday, excellent. And what's the date? April 14, 2020. So everyone, I want you to look at the picture here. What do you see? Well done, it's a map. And today we are going to talk about maps. So are you ready for the lesson of today? Shout yes! So everyone, here is the title of the lesson maps answer questions so what does this mean i think it means that maps can help people right and what about you what do you think read the title again maps answer questions mm -hmm. that looks interesting So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you can read maps. Wow, that's cool. And also, you can recognize the importance of maps. So let's learn this together. So everyone, let's watch the video together and listen carefully. Try to collect some information about maps. Here we go. How to make a map All kinds of maps How do people find their way around a new city? How do people drive from one side of a country to the other? They use a map A map is a drawing of a place most maps show places as if you are looking down from an airplane. A map of a city or town has streets and buildings. A map of a country has states, cities, lakes, and rivers. A map of the world shows oceans and land. It may show countries in different colors. Some maps show weather in different places. This map shows where the sun is shining. It also shows where rain or snow is falling. Parts of a map. To use a map, first learn the four directions. North is the direction of the North Pole. South is the direction of the South Pole. East is where the sun rises and West is where the sun sets. Maps may have an arrow and the letter N to show which way is North. They may instead have a compass rose with all four directions. Maps may also have little drawings called symbols. A little bike may mark a bike path. Cities and parks use a symbol to help people find bathrooms. A scale on a map shows how far apart things really are. In maps, look at the map on this page. Pretend you live in the blue house. Walk your fingers from your house to the library. Now, walk your fingers from the library to the post office. Pretend you live in the orange house on this map. 
Walk your fingers to the blue house. Use words to tell someone how you got there. Making maps. Make a map of your bedroom. Start with some graph paper or use a ruler to make your own. Measure the room with your footsteps. Each footstep equals one square on the graph paper. Count your footsteps in both directions. Then count the same number of squares on the paper. Draw the shape of the room. Now count the number of footsteps to different things in the room. Draw those things on your map. So everyone, after watching the video, we can talk about the title, which is Maps Answer Questions. So how do maps answer your questions? For example, you don't know, you don't know the location. So what you are going to do, you are going to use the map and the map will guide you and tell you the location or let me say where to go. So the map will answer your questions about locations. So everyone, look over here. Use the map key to find the areas that shows where scientists predicted they would find lizards circle them so everyone if you look at the map you can find the location of the lizards so what you're going to do is to circle the places where lizards are as you can see So everyone, maps answer questions. Maps help scientists answer questions. This map answers questions about where lizards live. Look at the key. A lizard symbol marks each new place a lizard was found. A purple symbol marks each place a lizard was observed. So everyone, I need your help. I need you to use your imagination. Imagine that you are in the big mall with your mom and dad and you felt hungry. So you and your mom and dad don't know where is the location of the, of the restaurant. So what you're going to do in this case, and there is no security man to help you. So you can use the map and the map will guide you. So everyone, we get to know that maps are important. Maps are important because maps save time, maps guide you and also maps make your life easier. It will help you to find any location quickly and easily and remember to use the key the map key and also the directions so everyone task options finally you have two here things to do you can choose task number one or task number two or if you want to do two of them it will be great so here task number one wow i like task number one so you need to draw a map of your room so if you will do this activity i will be so happy or everyone you can do something else write google maps on your browser and take a photo of your location on the map Ask the help of your mom if you are planning to do this activity. So task number two, look, observe, then circle as many differences as you can between the two maps below. 
So now task number two. It's super fun. If you want to do task number two, look, observe, then circle as many differences as you can between the two maps below. What does this mean? I'm going to tell you right now. You look at the two maps over here and try to find the differences between the two maps. For example, I'm going to show you something. We're going to look for the differences. I said, as I said to you so far, look and observe. So you're going to look. So for example, I can see a circle here, but it's not over here. So I'm going to circle here. And you're going to do the same. Continue doing the same. Finally, everyone, visit the website below. Then enjoy playing the game. Videotape yourself and, uh, and show me how good you are. Finally, please don't forget to upload your work in your class dojo portfolio. Have a nice day and I love you all.